Hello, this is Dr. Amin Marashi, retina specialist from Aleppo, Syria. This course is about clinical changes in RPE. This presentation is about druzen. Druzen are deposits of extracellular yellow material between retinal pigment epithelium, RPE, and Brooks membrane. Mainly consists of lipids and fatty proteins. Drusen can be classified by size, as hard drusen are small, and when they enlarge in size or coalesce, form soft drusen. Hard drusen is a sign of mild dry AMD that are small in size, with defined edges and homogeneous continent. It can be benign without disturbing ellipsoid zone or causing pigment migration. However, on OCT, hyperreflectivity can be found next to hard drusen as altered Henle fiber layer. When hard drusen coalesce and enlarge in size, they can form soft drusen, which become more homogeneous with blurred edges. Soft drusen are hallmark of moderate dry AMD. On OCT, soft drusen feature both disturbed ellipsoid zone and pigment migration, which is found as hyperreflective foci in the outer retinal tissues. Soft drusen can be presented with reduced vision and risk of developing advanced or rate AMD. Therefore, close follow-up should be done along with systemic supplements if the other eye suffered from weight or advanced AMD. Drusen can be different in continent as there are homogeneous and heterogeneous drusen. The latter indicates transforming drusen from hard to soft, and it is a prognostic factor of developing advanced AMD. OCT features homogeneous drusen continent with atrophic RPE changes, disturbed ellipsoid zone, which leads to advanced AMD. Drusen can come in different shapes, such as reticular pseudodrusen, which can be a sign of developing advanced or weight AMD, and drusenoid RPE detachment, which featured large size with a homogeneous continent and benign character, and it takes years to induce choroidal neovascular membrane or advanced AMD. On OCT, it shows RPE detachment with drusenoid homogeneous continent, along with disturbed ellipsoid zone and pigment migration. Drusen can be different in location, which it can be located in the optic disc, forming optic disc drusen at the macula or in the periphery. This is a case that contains hard drusen, soft drusen, drusenoid RPE detachment, and iteritinal pigmentation. Fluorescein angiogram shows hyperfluorescence of soft drusen and drusenoid RPE detachment in early phase where hyperfluorescence maintains without increase in size in mid phase with more prominent hypofluorescence due to intraretinal pigmentation. The late phase shows staining from both RPE drusenoid detachment and soft drusen along with hyper fluorescence from hard drusen and hypofluorescence due to intraretinal pigmentation. I hope you find this information beneficial in your clinical practice. Thank you for listening.